Not everyone who works for the U.S. Geological Survey studies rocks or dirt. And that's especially true for hydrologic technicians. These, are the These government workers are actually studying water from the air. It is a, over a thousand feet to get to the other side. And right now he's starting at about 25 feet above. This is the Bend Stream Gauge Cableway over the Sacramento River, California's longest stream gauge cableway. And it's located in the town of Bend, just about 45 miles south of Lake Shasta in Tehama County. And its sole purpose is for the collection of water flow data. We unbiasedly collect the data. The main function of a stream gauge is to record how much and how fast water is moving. The USGS manages more than 11,800 stream gauges across the U.S., but if you ask hydrologic technician Brendan Ledbetter, he'll tell you this stream gauge cableway is a pretty big deal, at least in California. The largest and I would say most important, and um, that's maybe a little biased, but uh, rightfully so. The Sacramento is California's largest river, providing 31% of the state's surface water, affecting people as far south as Los Angeles. Data collected from the Bend stream gauge is used to decide when and how the water is used. Dam releases are um, measured from gauges like ours. Lake Shasta has the largest dam on the Sacramento River, and during the drought years between 2020 and 2022, water reached historic lows, but thanks to the data from the stream gauges, it never went dry. Obviously, the Shasta Dam being drawn down, less full, less full over time, but we still had water because that was the plan. It, we planned for it. Keeping water in the Sacramento River flowing at the correct level affects the entire state. Strong water flows from the Sacramento pushes back salt water from the San Francisco Bay. If water flows too weak, salt water could get into the Delta, then possibly into the California Aqueduct, which provides drinking water to the Central Valley and Los Angeles. Statewide, the Sacramento River is the most important river in the entire state, and this is one of the main gauges. During the winter and spring of 2023, however, water in the Sacramento rose above the bank and over the high water gauge. Does it normally go over this gauge? No. Once again, the stream gauge helped control water at the dam and even warned people about flooding. At its peak, the water flow was 115,000 cubic feet per second. That hasn't happened since 2006. The USGS recognized the importance of recording stream flow data a long time ago. This cableway um, peak measurements have been measuring here since uh, 1879, which was when the USGS was originally founded. In the 1800s, cableways and stream gauges were primitive. The USGS workers would have to ride in a wooden box on a cable and use rulers to get data. Today, though, water flow data is collected every 15 minutes from computer monitors planted in the river. The only time that hydrologic technicians like John Ferguson and Corey Trent use the cableway is when they have to calibrate those computer sensors. And that happens only once every six weeks. Do you, do you ever get scared going up? Uh, no, on this, this is an e-ticket ride, man. This is fun. Rivers change direction and depth all the time, and to see how much the river has changed and to get an accurate reading, John drops this complex water flow recorder, which looks like a robot boogie board, into the Sacramento. Then Corey checks the data from the recorder with all the gauges. So that's why we're coming out. We're calibrating the elevation and then we're also measuring the, the discharge. Thanks to the snowfall and precipitation during the winter of 2023, water flows are looking pretty good. We have more than double the amount of water flowing now than we did last couple of years during this time. Farmers, cities, cargo ships, and of course wildlife all depend on the Sacramento River. And dependable water flows depends on the accurate data from stream gauges. A lot goes in to bring in water down to households and, and, and to grow our almonds that we all love. From the Bend Stream Gauge and Cableway on the Sacramento River, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.